All right, peak white mess time. Get your favorite segment. I love peak white mess. Adam Levine addresses model Sumner Stroh's claim that they had an affair after she said he wanted to name the baby after her. Donnie, play her audio. I'm just gonna rip the bandaid off because I've retaken this like 10 times now. <laughs> Essentially, I was having an affair with a man who's married to a Victoria's Secret model. At the time, you know, I was young, I was naive, and I mean, quite frankly, I feel exploited. I wasn't in the scene like I am now, um, so I was definitely very easily manipulated. We're in five is practically elevator music at this point, so I'm sure you know who Adam Levine is. Um, but Adam and I were seeing each other for about a year. After I stopped talking to him over, you know, a period of months, this is uh, how he came back into my life. He said, okay, serious question. I'm having another baby, and if it's a boy, I really uh, want to name it Sumner. You okay with that? Dead serious. Um... Okay, so according to Sumner, they had a, a they had an affair, and then he uh, after the affair was over, he came back and wanted to name his kid. He's married to a Victoria, Victoria's Secret model. He wanted to name his kid after her, and that was his way of kind of getting back in contact with her by saying, "Hey, you know, I would like to name my my son after you." That I'm having with the wife that I was, uh, you know, ducking out on when I saw you. Um, more women have since come forward mm -hmm. accusing Adam Levine of sending raunchy messages while he was married. Um, and our friend Christian Walker. <laughs> you know how much we love CW over here. Friend of the show, ha for sure. Friend of the show. Has weighed in on this. Let's hear what, what Christian had to say on old TikTok. As someone who comes from a broken home, you're not a victim when you sleep with a married man. The only victims in affairs are the loyal partner and children if there's any children involved. We've become this weird generation of yelling poor me on the internet and expecting to garner all of the support all while right, simultaneously shut the fucking shit taking- off. Shut up, shut up, blah, 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 blah. Nigga, how many kids your dad got? Um, That's the first time I've heard him acknowledge that he comes from a broken home. Because before he was very, very holier than thou with his father until it started coming out that he had all that he was not taking care of his other children and just admitted to even having them. So that was interesting to me. Mm. You know why this is peak white mess for me? Why? Because everybody looks bad. Sumner? Yeah, of course she looks bad. Why? Because she exposed him? I mean, that, but she was fucking around with him when he was married i mean every he looks worse it's his responsibility hold on let me make sure i make this clear it's his responsibility to care for his relationship it certainly is mm -hmm. it's his responsibility to care for his relationship and i'm not sure it can i'm not sure it gets worse than trying to name your kid you can't how do you get out of that one it's twisted it's disgusting <laughs> What kind of maniac are you that you want to name your child that, that will forever for life be a constant reminder? And it's such a unique name. When your children ask, like, why did you name me that? My name's Rachel. And I asked my parents why they named me that. What are you going to say when they ask, why did you name me Sumner? Like, it's gross. Yeah. I, my mind can't even comprehend that. That to me was the worst one. That's the worst one. That's the worst thing. Do you think so? Okay, let me ask you this before I go into my like slightly patriarchy mansplaining thing. Do you think Sumner Be looks yourself. bad at this? Do you think Sumner <laughs> looks bad at all in this? Let me come to you for some clarity. Um. So Sumner says that the reason that she decided to rip the Band-Aid off is because she had shared this with friends, which I would imagine most women would, and the friend was trying to sell the story. So she wanted to get ahead of it before her friend did. Let's just take that as the truth. Uh-huh. I'll go back to the conversation that we had earlier in this podcast. He is an older, powerful man. Uh -huh. She is a younger, I believe she was in college when this was happening, right around about to graduate, maybe just graduated, impressionable yeah. young woman, 
who is embarking on a social media influencing career. Okay, that's what she is. She's an Instagram model. Um, you have to acknowledge the power dynamic and how influential and on his part, I will use her word manipulative that it can be. I'm not saying that she didn't know that he was married to Bahati. And obviously there's some responsibility in that, but more of the responsibility falls on him. And you can't tell me that he was not being intentional and purposeful about who he was seeking out, knowing that he could have more power and manipulation over a certain type of woman. I will, I will always think of it that way. And with her, she's younger, she's impressionable, she's trying to get into this industry in some sort of way. And it's easy to make mistakes. I'm not saying she's right. And fall vic and not victim, but fall into all of that because of the place that she is in her life compared to where he is. So do I think that she's wrong? If she knew he had a wife, which I'm sure he she did, then that's wrong. But I'm not really looking at her, I'm looking at him. I'm okay, that's fair. And you're right. I didn't know who she was until this. So she forever will be Same. famous for this. You know what I mean? Same. So this is this now, this is why she's famous. Okay. Um, the only reason why I say everybody looks bad because I'm like I'm looking around and that, and that's that's the good sign of peak white mess. Peak white mess doesn't have a white knight. I just want people to know this. Peak white mess doesn't have anybody that can like that can come and and get you out of the doldrums. That's not what peak white mess has. Peak white mess is messy on all sides. You know what I'm saying? Peak white mess is the the fucked up shit that white people get into. You know, the Hatfields and McCoys. That's peak white mess. <laughs> You know what I mean? I, 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 and I like it. Look, I, I, I'm not sure where Adam Levine, he's on The Voice now, right? He's been off The Voice for a while. He's off The Voice. So what happens now? What do you mean what happens? I mean, he's can I like say a something? business owner. He's making music. Can, can I say something? He's a father. I'm going to be honest with you. White men don't get enough credit for their cheating prowess. They don't. White men, like it, like, at, like even with the M.A. Udoka thing, right? You see a black man can't stay faithful, black man can't stay faithful. And I'm not saying anything about that. I can't speak to that as far as the sisters are concerned. But think about this. Uh, ben Affleck, Adam Levine, Ashton Kutcher. What was your man from Las Vegas that cheated on Fergie? I can't even remember his name. Josh, Josh Dumel. Dumel. Like, Josh Dumel. Like, they they get it in, all right. Like it 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 happens. There was one now that mm -hmm. I'm blanking on that I, I I can't even remember. Like they, the white white dudes kind of they kind they kind of skate a little bit on the whole different situations. Uh, the, the the timber snake. Some people say the timber snake was out there a little bit. You know, the timber snake got, <laughs> got himself into a, got got himself into a a little bit of a problem, but. I don't know. It just doesn't seem to stick with them. I don't know why the label, the label is on black men heavy. But I'm, I'm looking at this. Adam Levine is like, that's like the last nigga I would expect to be involved in some shit like this. You know what I'm saying? It's like the last guy that I would expect to be down with, with some Robin Thicke. Robin Thicke. You know what I mean? Robin Thicke. Robin Thicke was one where he was like, God. But Damn. People still look at him. You know what I'm saying? Like Robin Thicke, like like white dudes cheat and they they it's like everything else. They skate for it. They don't really get the same type of scrutiny. I think I think I think black men get a uh get to skate a little bit too. I think people move on past their cheating. Well, people are gonna move on past everything. I mean, you it, like everything. it doesn't define them though, like that. You don't look at you like, uh, ah, I remember when he did this. It might happen in certain instances, but for the most part, men just get away with the shit. Well, for yeah, for the most part, for the most part, people do. You know what I mean? Like, like, think, is there a woman right now that you can think of that cheated on somebody and it ruined her career? Like, for example, right now, Olivia Wilde, most likely. She didn't cheat. She. Don't put that. That is not that. Has not shit. been confirmed. She. Nigga, if, the, if those roles were reversed. Ain't no fucking way anybody would believe that 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 she didn't cheat. Like it's like she and nobody looks at her as a cheating harlot. 
No, Type because it's Harry. They're like, they're fascinated with the relationship. <laughs> Everybody's like, oh, oh, okay. It's okay. It's Harry. Christian Walker. I can't believe we put <laughs> Christian Walker on the, um, on the podcast. <laughs>